What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mercury Farms. So our boss man Frank gave us a call, said, hey, got some people and been paying me. So I made sure we took care of business. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you know us, we like taking care of business and we like when it gets taken care of. However, I don't like being there when it gets taken care of. It's messy, it's nasty, you don't want none of that. So what we've done is we've come in. Oh, nope, definitely not our turn yet. Boss man wants us to come in. He wants us to collect everything. And he wants us to take it and get rid of it. So keep what we need. And he wants us to get our own farm here on Mercury Farms. He's got some work for us. So I think this was the guy's place. It said he's got stuff scattered around. He didn't take care of anything. Everything is dirty, everything is filthy, it all needs to be repaired, and we need to figure out what we're going to do with it. Oh yeah, see the house has been foreclosed on. Look, oh my god, he didn't take care of nothing. Look at that. Let's just pull up right here in front of the house. Trash everywhere. I don't know what Frank did to him, but... Ooh, he did something, he tore this place up. Oh, look at this. This is nasty, nasty, filthy, filthy. Ugh. I don't even want to look in here. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, he wasn't kidding. He must have owed him a lot of money because he hadn't done anything. I wonder. Oh my gosh, 249 hours on this thing. Needs to be repaired right away. I bet the truck needs to be repaired. Yep. 86. -er. Just didn't take care of anything, did he? Let's open that up. Let's see. This area looks pretty good. Let's see. I bet some more nasty, nasty. Wow. Doesn't look like he's taking care of anything. He's not spraying anything down. This guy got it. This guy got it good. Oh man, Harvester, let me guess. Yep. Well, doesn't have many hours on it, but you can see it definitely needs being repaired. Oh my goodness. Whew. I don't even know how to handle it. So, if you guys are curious, we work for a guy named Frank. Frank rules this land, this land of mercury farms and everyone works for him including myself when we came from spectacle island we did a little bit of work for him there we're here now so what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to get all this stuff up to the shop so that frank can get in take care of it chop shop it up you know what it is even left this up can you believe it I don't even know how to shut doors. Shut the dark door. All right. Well, we got to call in a couple favors. Uh, we're going to have to go uh, go talk to Frank about getting a truck in here. Maybe uh, maybe two semi-trucks. We're going to have to get this equipment out of here. But I know he said, keep what we find. And I tell you what, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a whole lot. Let's jump in. Okay. Not a lot of hours on it, but it is filthy. Absolutely filthy. She starts right up. Crane seems to be working okay. Huh. Let's see. Let's back this thing out. Oh, she's looking good too. She is looking good. You know what? I think we're going to take this. This is going to be what we take. I don't want to take a whole... Ooh, it's a tipper. Should we take the tip? Uh, you know what? I don't think Frank's going to be too upset. If we just, you know, take a tipper. There we go. So we have ourselves a nice tractor, a nice tipper, to start a brand new farm. And we ain't starting to hear this place is absolutely wrecked. So, let's jump in, let's jump in our truck, 
And let's head down. We're going to go talk to Frank. We're going to see what he says, see what he's got planned for us. Oops. Turns out it is possible to go past this place. I had to go back and turn around. Uh-oh. He's got trucks outside. He's got a turn signal turned on here. Uh-oh. Ooh, I see his truck. Let's pull up right next to him. Fortunately, we've been nice enough. Uh, he's kind of paid for us to have a really nice truck, but you always know it's him. You always know it's his stuff, his brand. You got this super dark blue. It's just that dark blue that says, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm coming for you. Yo. Ooh, they got the red off. Very nice. Good job, good job. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh, let's go in. Very nice. Very easy. What's uh, what's up, Frank? Well, he is extremely, extremely persuasive. Uh, so what he's done is he's thrown some money our way, told us to hire some guys and get this job done. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, can we get it? Yes, we are out of here. We are good. So all we have to do is we have to get back and we've got to load up everything that is not, well, let's say not ours. It's not what we want to keep. So we've got a, uh, I can't even remember which truck this is. Uh, we've also got the Goldhofer extended low load bed on the back. We're going to bring these into Mercury Farms. See if we can, uh, See if we can get this guy to collect a little bit. Slow it down, nice and easy. Wide turns, very, very wide turns. We've got a long, long trailer back here. Other trucks should be getting here soon. We've got to get all this done. Let's boom out. Let's go ahead and start to get this extended a little bit. There we go. And then what we want to do, not what we want to do. We want to disconnect from the back piece. And we'll just pull this out of the way about right there. That'll work. So, let's turn that off. First things first to go is going to be the raw smash. It's the biggest thing. We want to get it on as quickly as possible. Pull this down. Pull everything in. Connect up. Bring this down. Kind of bring it down and bring it in. Both ways. Make sure nothing crazy is happening because... Crazy things happen all the time on Mercury Farms. I don't know if you know. Nice and easy. Good, good. Easy does it. Perfect. So I think we might be able to fit... Uh, I might straighten this up a little bit. I might fit two things on each trailer. Maybe one. I'm just afraid that we're not going to have enough room on one trailer. Or two trailers, rather. There we go. There's one thing. I guess we don't have much, do we? We've got this. No front loader. Good. Nothing really for the back of it. Tell you what, we might be able to get this on there with this implement. That would be nice. So, you know what? Why don't we just put the implements up there? And then that way we've got this tractor to move stuff. Yeah! That's how you do it. So, first things first. We've got the cedar here. Let's go ahead and lower it. Bring it in. Bam. Oh, that's going to come off. Oh, that's coming off like big time. That's not even a question. That's going to fall off. Can we disconnect it and not? Like, that's that's going to go for a ride. That's where that's going. You know what? Screw it. Don't care. Leaving it there. And then we've got this cultivator here. I don't know how in the world dude managed i say dude i don't know if i'm allowed to say that or not but it's somebody i don't know how they were able to just leave all this stuff and get it all nasty oh okay let's drop this stuff off bam 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 good 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 push it up on there a little bit there we go so that's done let's go ahead and let's call in for the second truck we're gonna get that over here we're gonna try and get the rest of this loaded well, Frank has done us a solid and paid off the traffic. I don't know how in the world he does that, but here we go. We're going to pull in. We've already got one load up here. The boys brought it up just a second ago. We've got the second load now. We were unable to get the Fiat on here. So what I've decided to do is to not say anything about it. And 
we're just going to take two tractors instead of one. I couldn't fit it on. And he's got two full trailers. He's got to be happy, right? He's got to be happy. So, we've got everything dropped off for the boss. Truck's turned off. So what we've brought is we've got the cultivator, the cedar, the harvester, and we also have the Valtra, and we've got his nasty, nasty, nasty <laughs> truck. Let's hop in here. Oh, oh, he, he's not used to can't, can't, can't come through this, the back like that is. So also all these people walking around, they're not just people hanging out. These are like uniformed or ununiformed bodyguards. Watch Mr. Frank right here. Hey, uh, what's up, Frank? I uh, got everything you wanted. Um, what else do you need from me? We've got a game plan. Thank you, Frank, for helping us out here. Uh, he ended up asking, he said, So, where's the other two tractors in the trailer? It's like, oh, really, Frank? Really? So we told him where they were, and we told him that when he said we could keep something, we decided to keep it, and because we could only fit what we could on there, we just decided to keep this guy. We just decided to keep it. He said, okay, all right, okay. Which to me meant we're in trouble. <laughs> That's exactly what I read into. But for now, we're good. So what we have to do is I've been told that we need to vacate all of the equipment from the property. Uh, he did toss us about 20 grand for helping him out with that. Uh, 20, 30 grand, something like that. I never count. Just throw it in the bank and run. He told us to liquidate everything on site. Which for him, I think, would mean one thing. But for us, what that means is that we are going to come in here and we're just going to move everything off site. What we're going to do is we're going to call the construction crew. They are going to remove all of these buildings. And then we will be selling the land. And he's told us we can keep what we make from both of those things. Minus expenses, of course. And we can keep the money and start our own farm. So that, I must say, is pretty freaking cool. So we're going to go in. We're going to call these guys, get all of these buildings removed. And then we are going to have... A little bit of fun because we're gonna have some money to play with. Is this thing still running? Ooh, never leave your truck running. Man, this thing looks good too, doesn't it? Ooh, brand new. Guess who bought it for me? You got it, Mr. Frank. Uh, also, uh, if you're trying to figure this out, Frank's a gangster. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't mess with Frank. He loves the sawmill. I won't get into why. These buildings have got to go. Much better. Much 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 better now let's go in and let's see what we've got here we've got field 10 with a bit of an area and field 11 looks like field 11 we're going to be able to sell for 35 grand and a hundred and five thousand dollars goes towards the selling of this land now we would hang on to it but unfortunately we're not allowed to it's not the way the rules work he said he's got a plan for that area and to not bother him. I said, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, right away, sir. So where are we headed? Well, I think I find, find, found, found. Yes, conjugate the right way. I think I found where I want to move. Since we're here and we're used to huge, huge, massive landscapes, I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of settle down on a little bit of a smaller farm. Let's jump in first person here. So, Mercury Poultry Farm just went up for sale. And you know what? I think we're going to buy it. I think we're going to buy this area. This is going to be our new farm. This, this right here, is going to be our new home. Now, of course, we're going to do a little bit of redecorating. We're definitely, definitely not going to be rocking with some of the stuff here but we've got sheds we've got places to put stuff and most importantly we've got chickens now my understanding is that we can hold about 300 chickens with these three areas i'm not sure if we're going to keep all of them but we're certainly going to keep some of it so let's jump in 
Did that not sell? There we go. We got it to work, finally. Turns out we had some more stuff there. So, what's it going to cost us? $62,000. We have three hundred fifty-seven. dollars Purchase, please, and thank you. Welcome home. Welcome home. This is going to be our new area. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to get everything up here. So that includes the tractors, the trailer. We're going to need to get a couple implements. But for right now, since we've got chickens, I think that's what we're going to focus on. It's chickens, wheat, barley, all that good stuff. How much do chickens cost anyway? 50 bucks a chicken. So if we buy 100 chickens, that's going to be... Uh, five thousand five thousand dollars i believe so that's ten thousand we dug in thirty thousand dollars did i do the math right somebody's gonna let me know down in the comment section did i do the math right all right let's get everything up here and here's what we have done with the place <laughs> uh we're in a different spot actually totally different spot uh, i moved it no, nah, I didn't move it. I had to delete it and then get another one. That's what I had to do. So we've got our case Puma in here, or Puma. And over here, we've got our trailer, kind of about where it was. And nothing in here yet. So we're going to go and close these up. I did put a little shop over here because we are going to have to take everything in. Oh, I can't believe that they just let everything go like that. So we've got to do our part. We've got to clean everything. Oh yeah, cleaning everything. We gotta put down the sprayer. My goodness, how could I forget? Where should we put the sprayer? I think we should put the sprayer right here. Bam. Now we've got the sprayer. I know it's backwards, but now we've got a sprayer there. Uh, we have our seed and fertilizer huts right here, right behind here. I thought this kind of fit nice and snug. So we've got those right there. We can pull straight through, pick up what we need. We had to get a silo. I just didn't have one. We needed one. Also, we got our tractor parked right there so we know what we need to do. Now, there's nothing in here, but boss man has told me that there's some around the farm, some around the map, some around the town. So we're going to go pick up some and uh, basically steal from the rich and give to ourselves. Yes, you heard that correctly. There's a couple farms that have what we want, and we're going to take it. Sorry. That's the way it works. And what do we need? We need wheat. That's it. Just wheat so we can get eggs. Another thing that we have, what do we have, DJ? Well, I'll tell you what we got. We bought us a field. We bought field 48. Try to say 48 field at the same time. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but there's sunflowers in there right now, and they are almost done growing. thing I don't know is fertilization. Ooh, next to last fertilization state. So what we can do is we can get a fertilizer, fertilize these the rest of the way, and then we have a huge field of sunflowers. <gasps> That's what we need to do. Also, I'm going to cut this out completely so there will be no fence here, no trees. Oh, it's going to look good. We'll have a way into this field, and we'll have all of this area through here as well, which is going to be really nice. But first, we need a fertilizer not a big one we just need one that works so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our truck down and we have seventy one thousand dollars left now we can take out a loan if we really want to we could take out hundred and fifty thousand dollars or not hundred fifty gosh five hundred thousand dollar loan but I don't really want to not right now at least we don't need to but of course we could later on also here's another thing and here's an idea for you I left the house. I left the house exactly the way it was. What I've done is I got the lawn chairs. So this house is completely decorative. Totally decorative. It just it's not doesn't work as a house. But the chair mod does. Yes, it does. So what I recommend is if you like these houses, stick some lawn chairs in the front. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? I think that is pretty cool. We've got a great setup going on so far. It's time to head down. And, oh, there goes the airplane. 
You guys didn't know we got an airplane over here. Let's see if we can boom out a little bit. Nah, not getting a good view of it. That's all right. That's still pretty cool. That is just really, really cool. Oh my goodness. We got ourselves a fertilizer. That's right. We got the Vernlin Exacta EL center flow. We were able to fit it in the truck, which is really nice because I'm not sure why I took the truck down there. So we've got this. We're going to take this off. We need to find out which tractor we can use in the field. Now, I don't know if this old, old, old tractor is going to work, but I'm certainly going to give it a try. So we're going to jump in here and bow. Wait. Yeah, there we are. Get her started up. We've got, got, got to get this fixed right now, immediately. One thing I don't know, and I'm sure somebody's going to comment down below, I want to put narrows on here. But I don't know if we can or not. We're about to find out regardless. I haven't used this, and a lot of people give me crap for it. So, you know what? This is for you guys. This is We are using the Fiat. How much is it to repair? Oh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt real bad. $491. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Customize. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Narrow tires it is. That is what I'm talking about. Get this. Back it up. Where's our truck? There it is. I'm going to take this. Wow. And I thought it was fast going forwards. <laughs> Hop out of there. Let's grab this thing out of here. And let's plop it down and back right into it. Where is it? There it is. Can we get it? Yes, we can. Now, instead of going six miles an hour backwards, let's go 15 forwards. And we need fertilizer. So, solid and liquid fertilizer can be bought right here. I'm going to back up to the solid fertilizer. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but we're going to do it. Fertilizer, one start. Bam. And we've got that. Time to line this up. Now, I don't for the life of me know how to get in there. So we're going to have to give this a little college try and just try to figure it out. I'm okay buying a chainsaw and just ripping, just tearing straight through there. But I don't actually, no, no, you know what? It's open right here. Perfect. That was easy. I kind of made a lot out of nothing, huh? Nothing out of a lot? Something, something like that. Now, I do not have... Least I don't think I have helper buy on. I may. So there's only one way to find out. Let's get a headland done real fast. Oh, I definitely have helper buy. Okay, well, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. We've just got to make sure that it works good. So we'll get it to about right here, and then we're going to send them up and down. Actually, we're going to have to throw a helper on... Uh... There we go. Yep, that ought to be fun. <laughs> and let's see can we boom out and see kind of where we've been a little bit yeah a little bit not too bad there we go let's throw that down and let's jump in here yeah we're getting that fertilization state that's what i'm talking about so we've got this this is good very very good we still don't have wheat for the chickens nor do we have the chickens so we got to go find some wheat and see if we can steal it so we've just got off the phone with Frank, and word on the street is there are two abandoned farms very close to the one we've just purchased. He has extended his gratitude and his appreciation for the area that we've picked out, which I'm very excited about. So here's one. This is an old, old animal farm. Let's just park it up for a second. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but we're going to find out. Old animal farm. I've been told... If we wanted, we could farm this. We could stick animals in here. We could do it to it. Sheep, pigs, and cows, I am told. And if we can get the stuff to do it, we could farm this area. Okay, okay. Also, there's supposedly some secret fields around here somewhere. I don't want to call it, but we're going to find them. So we need wheat or barley, so we're going to be going uh, 48, 84. That is our wheat. Let's see, 41, 69, barley, uh, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, all that good stuff. Yeah, 
understandable, but pick food. Ooh, pick food already. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? Let's just start off by getting our... Here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Not too much, huh? Guess when you've got something that holds 21,000 liters, you don't really need a whole lot, huh? Okay, cool. So we've got this. That's the first abandoned farm. Now, this is the small abandoned farm area here. Now, this was actually looked at. I was looking at this, but I didn't want just an abandoned place. Even though that's kind of what we took over, wasn't it? What do we got here? House overgrown. Ooh, silo. This is what we want right here. How much wheat did they leave? If any. Keep that in mind. If any. Back it up. Nice and slow. Get it right under it. Wheat. 48, 44. Okay. Bam. Now we've got plenty of wheat. So we're going to head back. We are going to put chickens in the pen. We are going to put wheat in the pen. And we are going to have chickens and wheat in the pen. We're going to start with the first pen down here. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Now, all we need to do is put one chicken in here to see how much food we can fit. So we go white chickens, black chickens, brown chickens, or roosters. Well, as we know, roosters don't do a darn thing. So to give the place some color, we're going to throw in some white chickens. And one perfect confirm. Now, let's dump the wheat. Let's see how much we... Okay, so not a lot. Let's check this out. Let's go into animals here. 1,000 liters of food. <laughs> I don't think that's right. That's not right at all. Let's add some more chickens here. Um, so I know we can fit 100. And it costs 50, so we've got one in here. What did I say? $10,000 would fill up the whole place. Let's go $4,950. Confirm. Now we should have... Oh, no, wait. Nope, I did my math awfully wrong. That's 100. We're full. Great. Awesome. So let's dump this the rest of the way. Hopefully we'll be able to get... Uh... Is that going to dump all the way? No. No. So we've got a hundred chickens, and we've only used like what, half the food, less than half the food that we had. You know what? We're gonna do that again. Right here, bam, bam, bam. We're gonna buy a hundred more chickens. And there we go. I think it's gonna take it all, yep. So we've got 200 chickens, virtually all full of food. Nice. Cool. Yeah, we got a nice little chicken farm going on. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you have any questions for me, drop those down in the comment section below. If you enjoy Mercury Farms, let me know. Let me know. Are you enjoying C Mercury Farms? I know you guys are excited. I know you want it to come out uh, on console and on PC for the public. Right now, there's a very, very small group of people that have the map to kind of show you guys and and get hype for it and also you know something's wrong for whatever reason we'll be able to to deduce that and diagnose that before anything crazy happens so huge shout out to alien jim as always he is linked in the description below and as always he will be linked in a card at the very end so make sure you guys click the little alien icon right below dj goham in between the two videos that being said Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Run away from Frank. Peace. Peace.